Get ready to mark your calendars for April 8, 2024, because a celestial spectacle of extraordinary proportions is on the horizon. Brace yourselves as we gear up to witness not just any run-of-the-mill solar eclipse, but a highly uncommon total solar eclipse, the likes of which are few and far between. What makes this event particularly intriguing are the uncanny connections it holds with the predictions swirling around the 2024 elections, set to significantly impact both the United States and Israel. Some voices in the midst of this cosmic convergence even dare to suggest that this astronomical phenomenon could serve as an ominous portent hinting at the onset of the fabled end times. Delving into the depths of ancient texts and modern interpretations, we uncover a tapestry of references linking celestial occurrences to prophetic narratives about the culmination of history. Throughout various passages in the Bible, we encounter mentions of the sun, the moon, the stars, and yes, even eclipses, all interwoven with foretellings of the eschaton, the final epic of human existence. Take, for instance, the words of Jesus in Luke 21-25, where he alludes to celestial signs heralding the advent of the last days, a theme echoed across diverse religious and cultural traditions. In light of these age-old prophecies and their enduring resonance, it's no wonder that whenever the heavens put on a show out of the ordinary, minds turn to contemplation, wondering if perhaps the hand of fate is guiding the celestial dance towards its ultimate crescendo. And so, in today's presentation, we embark on a journey to unravel the enigma shrouding this impending solar eclipse peeling back the layers of interpretation to discern its true significance. Trust me when I say, the revelations awaiting us at the conclusion of this exploration are bound to leave you spellbound, forever altering the lens through which we view the cosmos and our place within it. To truly grasp the significance of a celestial event like a solar or lunar eclipse, it's imperative to cast our gaze both backward and forward, drawing upon historical context, biblical insights, contemporary global happenings, and astute analysis of the prevailing circumstances. Through this multifaceted approach, we endeavor to unravel whether such phenomena serve as genuine harbingers or merely form part of the intricate tapestry of unfolding biblical prophecy. As the wise words of Ecclesiastes 1, 9 remind us, what has been will be again, what has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun, underscoring the cyclical nature of history and its echoes across time. But here's where the narrative takes a startling turn. Amidst the ebb and flow of human events, the unchanging nature of God stands as an immutable beacon, transcending the shifting tides of time. It follows then that God's mode of communication, his dealings with sin and nations remain steadfast, mirroring the patterns evident throughout history and scripture. Chief among these recurrent motifs is the theme of idolatry, and the divine response to a nation's transgressions, a motif that resonates through the annals of time. Thus, as we navigate the complexities of interpreting celestial omens and their potential theological significance, we are compelled to heed the lessons of the past, recognizing the timeless truths woven into the fabric of existence. For in discerning the patterns of divine interaction with humanity, we may glean insights into the unfolding drama of cosmic history and our place within its grand narrative. Throughout the annals of biblical history, 
we witness a profound interplay between the prophetic word and the signs accompanying divine intervention. Now hurry up. If this is your first time on my channel, I will be happy if you like this video. This way you can help me continue to spread the Christian message. Subscribe and click the notification ringtone so you won't miss any of the next videos. We'll be uploaded every day. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go. Indeed, every significant prophet tasked with confronting Israel's idolatry and sin was invariably accompanied by specific omens and warnings foretelling the course of future events. Delving into the cryptic imagery of Revelation chapter 6, we encounter the enigmatic symbolism of the four horsemen, each representing a facet of God's judgment upon nations. If you like the topic of this video, please comment number one. If you don't, please comment number zero to let me know so I can make a better video for you. The first horseman, symbolizing conquest or leadership, paves the way for discord and upheaval on a global scale setting the stage for subsequent turmoil. Following in its wake is the specter of war, unleashing strife and conflict, shattering the fragile peace that once reigned. Then famine descends, casting shadows of economic distress and agricultural hardship across the land. Finally, death rides forth, bearing the grim specter of pestilence and disease, marking the culmination of divine retribution. While these harbingers of judgment unfold upon the canvas of human history, they also echo the recurring patterns woven throughout the pages of Scripture. Time and again, we observe these signs emerging in response to the sins and idolatry of nations, underscoring the cyclical nature of divine intervention across the ages. Consider, for instance, the case of Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian monarch appointed by God to mete out judgment upon Israel and its neighboring nations. Before the sieges and conquests, the prophet Jeremiah forewarned of a devastating plague and famine that ravaged the land, sapping the strength of nations and paving the way for Babylon's advance. This grim tableau serves as a stark reminder of the intricate interplay between divine decree and human agency, unfolding against the backdrop of history's ceaseless march. In the pages of Jeremiah 38, too, we encounter a stark proclamation from the divine, outlining the fate that awaits those who remain steadfast in the face of impending judgment. The message is clear. Those who choose to cling to the besieged city will meet their end through the ravages of the sword, famine, and disease, while those who opt for surrender to the king of Babylon will be granted the gift of life, spared from the impending calamity. Fast forward to recent years, particularly the tumultuous era that commenced in 2020 and we find ourselves confronted with a tapestry of events eerily reminiscent of the biblical warnings of old. From the emergence of a global pandemic symbolizing the plague foretold in Revelation, to the specter of famine and economic hardship gripping nations worldwide, to the eruption of widespread civil unrest and discord manifesting in protests and demonstrations, and even the ominous rumblings of conflict on the international stage with the looming shadow of war with Russia, the signs are unmistakable. These developments have not merely reverberated within the borders of America, but have cast their long shadows across the entire globe, serving as potent reminders of the prevalent sin and idolatry that grip nations and the consequent divine judgment that ensues. Yet, amid the foreboding signs, it's crucial to tread cautiously in interpreting these events as harbingers of the last days. While the parallels are striking and the urgency palpable, 
We must also acknowledge that discerning the precise moment of eschatological fulfillment remains elusive. However, what these signs undeniably signify are significant changes on the horizon, prompting introspection and soul-searching on a global scale. Moreover, if indeed these events serve as divine judgments, it stands to reason that preceding them would have been warnings or indications, as God, in his infinite wisdom, never acts without first revealing his intentions to his prophets. Thus, as we navigate the tumultuous currents of these uncertain times, may we remain vigilant, heeding the echoes of the past and attuning our hearts to the whispers of divine revelation, for therein lies the key to understanding the unfolding drama of human history. Delving into the intricate tapestry of prophetic symbolism, we uncover a fascinating correlation between the celestial bodies and their allegorical significance. Did you know that in the rich tapestry of biblical prophecy, the moon consistently serves as a symbol for Israel, while the sun represents the Gentile nations? Prepare to be intrigued, for the depths of this symbolism are as profound as they are illuminating. Venturing back to the Genesis narrative, we glean insights into the divine orchestration of creation. It is revealed that on the fourth day, the sun, the moon, and the stars were fashioned into existence, casting their radiant glow upon the earth. However, what sets this apart is the revelation that light itself had already permeated the cosmos on the preceding day bathing the earth in its luminous embrace. It's a curious juxtaposition, the emergence of vegetation on the third day, relying upon sunlight and rain for sustenance, preceding the creation of the very source of that light on the subsequent day. How do we reconcile this apparent chronological anomaly? Herein lies a profound revelation about the indispensable role played by the sun and the moon in nurturing the delicate balance of Earth's climate and ecosystems. Their presence dictates the rhythm of ocean currents, the patterns of weather, and ultimately, the distribution of life-sustaining rain across the land. In the primordial epoch, rain was a rarity, as evidenced by the Genesis account, where shrubs and plants remained absent until the divine decree sent forth streams from the earth to quench the parched soil. Indeed, Genesis 2, 5, 6 offers a glimpse into this prehistoric landscape, where the absence of rain compelled the earth to rely on subterranean springs to water its surface an eloquent testament to the intricate choreography of divine providence. And so, as we unravel the layers of symbolism woven into the fabric of creation, we are reminded of the profound interconnectedness between the celestial realms and the terrestrial sphere, each playing a vital role in the grand symphony of existence. The seemingly perplexing sequence of events in the Genesis narrative where plants emerge on the third day before the creation of the sun, moon, or even rain, unfolds with purpose and precision upon closer examination. It unveils a deeper understanding of the multifaceted roles assigned to the celestial luminaries. Genesis 1.14, 19 sheds light on this divine design, revealing that the sun, moon and stars were fashioned not only to illuminate the heavens but also to serve as celestial timekeepers delineating the passage of day and night and marking the sacred rhythms of time including festivals and seasons these cosmic signposts imbued with divine significance assume heightened importance within the framework of biblical prophecy particularly as they portend the unfolding drama of the last days. Joel 2.30, 31 casts a vivid tableau of celestial wonders, 
where the darkening of the sun and the reddening of the moon herald the imminent advent of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. In this prophetic imagery, the darkening of the sun signifies impending turmoil, with the turning of the moon into blood evoking the specter of war and divine judgment. Meanwhile, the motifs of smoke and fire evoke cataclysmic upheavals such as volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, serving as ominous harbingers of impending tribulation. Thus, within the cosmic choreography orchestrated by the Creator, the sun and the moon transcend their mere physical roles as luminaries, assuming a sacred significance as celestial timekeepers and heralds of divine intervention. Through their cyclical dance across the heavens, they bear witness to the unfolding drama of human history, marking the appointed times and seasons ordained by the Almighty, and as we navigate the labyrinthine corridors of prophecy, may we heed the celestial signs and discern their deeper meaning, for therein lies the key to unlocking the mysteries of the ages. The celestial phenomena witnessed throughout history often serve as poignant reminders of the prophetic utterances echoed by Jesus himself. Indeed, the master teacher foretold a myriad of upheavals, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, wars, and other disturbances that would herald significant events on the horizon. But did you know that even more intriguing connections lie within the realm of recent astronomical occurrences, particularly the Blood Moon Tetrad of 2014 to 2015, which held a profound significance for Israel? If you like the topic of this video, please comment number two. If you don't, please comment number zero to let me know so I can make a better video for you. During this remarkable period, the heavens choreographed a series of four total lunar eclipses, aptly dubbed blood moons, occurring in rapid succession. What set these celestial displays apart was their precise alignment with four major Jewish festivals, giving rise to what became known as the blood moon tetrad. Yet, Despite the unmistakable synchronicity between these astronomical events and the sacred calendar of Israel, many struggle to decipher the true significance of this celestial sign, leaving its ultimate meaning shrouded in mystery. Enter the realm of symbolism, where the number four assumes profound significance as a testament to the universal authority of God's word. Within this tapestry of celestial symbolism, the moon emerges as a potent symbol of divine protection and oversight over the nation and people of Israel. The crimson hue of the eclipsed moon, traditionally seen as an omen of impending bloodshed and judgment, lent an air of solemnity to the unfolding drama. And amidst the span of two years, symbolically resonating with the biblical motif of division. The specter of potential division of the land of Israel loomed large, serving as a stark warning to heed the whispers of providence. Thus, as we reflect upon the celestial tableau unveiled during those momentous years, we are beckoned to peer beyond the veil of the heavens, to discern the deeper currents of divine purpose coursing through the tapestry of creation. For within the dance of the celestial spheres lies hidden wisdom, awaiting those with eyes to see and ears to hear the symphony of prophecy unfolding across the ages. In Joel 3.12, a pivotal event is foretold heralding the onset of the seven-year tribulation period and the judgment of nations. This prophecy paints a vivid picture of God summoning all nations to the valley of Jehoshaphat for judgment, particularly for their mistreatment of Israel, including Sidon and Tyre. The inclusion of Sidon and Tyre in this divine reckoning is particularly striking, 
given their historical significance. Sidon and Tyre were regions inhabited by the Phoenicians, renowned for their prowess in commerce and maritime trade. Ezekiel 28 makes reference to the king of Tyre, portraying him as a figure with characteristics akin to the Antichrist. Following the Greek and Roman conquests of Tyre and Sidon, it is speculated that the Phoenician populace may have dispersed with some migrating to regions like Greece and Rome. Notably, the Phoenicians left an indelible mark on history, as evidenced by their naming of the entire European continent after Europa, the daughter of the illustrious Phoenician king of Tyre. Today, the echoes of ancient Sidon and Tyre resonate in modern geopolitical entities such as the European Union, the United Nations, and even America. These nations and alliances are believed to be intricately linked to the ancient Phoenician territories, serving as conduits for the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. It is within the purview of these modern entities that the stage is set for the enactment of prophesied events, including the forging and endorsement of the Seven-Year Peace Treaty, a pivotal moment in the eschatological narrative, which will ultimately be confirmed by the Antichrist. If you like the topic of this video, please comment number three. If you don't, please comment number zero to let me know so I can make a better video for you. Understanding the significance of these historical and geopolitical connections is paramount, as they offer profound insights into the unfolding of prophetic events and their implications for the future. As we navigate the complexities of our times, may we heed the warnings and revelations embedded within Scripture, discerning the signs of the times and preparing our hearts for what lies ahead. In 2017, America bore witness to two extraordinary celestial phenomena that stirred profound speculation and intrigue. The first event unfolded on August 21st, 2017, when the nation was graced with the spectacle of the great American solar eclipse, a rare occurrence that captivated observers from coast to coast. However, it's crucial to recognize that the significance of such an eclipse transcends mere astronomical wonder. Rather, its import lies in its alignment with broader biblical and Israelite contexts. Just a month later, on September 23, 2017, the heavens bestowed upon the world another remarkable spectacle the alignment of stars and constellations known as the sign of Revelation 12. On this momentous date, the constellations of Virgo and Leo, alongside Mercury, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, the Sun, and the Moon, converged in a celestial ballet reminiscent of the vivid imagery described in the pages of Revelation 12. Did you know that such a precise alignment has occurred only twice in recorded history? But hold on to your seats, for the plot thickens. As we fast forward to the upcoming 2024 eclipse, the stage is set for a cosmic encore featuring these very constellations. The celestial dance of Virgo and Leo, alongside their planetary companions, is poised to once again capture the imagination and curiosity of observers worldwide. It's a cosmic symphony whose resonance reverberates across time and space, beckoning us to ponder the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. As we bear witness to these celestial marvels, may we remain vigilant, attuned to the signs and wonders unfolding in the heavens above. For in their ethereal beauty lies a deeper truth, a truth that transcends the boundaries of time and prophecy, inviting us to contemplate the grandeur and majesty of creation itself. If you like the topic of this video, please comment number four. If you don't, please comment number zero to let me know 
so I can make a better video for you. The prophetic warnings encoded in Revelation 12 serve as a sobering reminder of the impending conflict between the forces of darkness, embodied by the Antichrist or the Beast, and the faithful saints. Moreover, it foretells the resurgence of Israel as a nation, particularly in Jerusalem, serving as a focal point for geopolitical tensions. These signs, when viewed in conjunction, serve as a poignant cautionary tale, especially for nations like the United States, regarding their stance towards Israel and the potential ramifications of territorial divisions. Enter the stage of geopolitical maneuvering, where the events of the past few years have unfolded in a manner eerily reminiscent of biblical prophecy. From August 2017 to January 28, 2020, President Donald Trump's proposal of the Peace to Prosperity Plan echoed the themes of division outlined in Revelation 12. Advocating for a two-state solution, the plan allocated a significant portion of Israel's land, including the eastern half of Jerusalem, to the Palestinians, a move fraught with historical significance given the ancient enmity between the Philistines and Israel. Yet, as the ink dried on the proposed deal, the world found itself plunged into a maelstrom of unprecedented challenges. The emergence of the pandemic in early 2020 unleashed widespread devastation, reverberating across continents and plunging economies into turmoil. This was swiftly followed by economic hardships, civil unrest, and escalating conflicts, including tensions with Russia, further destabilizing the global order. What's truly remarkable, however, is the apparent reversal of the anticipated signs heralded by the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Instead of unfolding in the expected sequence, these events occurred in reverse order, confounding expectations and prompting deeper introspection into the unfolding of prophetic narratives. Moreover, in the wake of these tumultuous events, we've witnessed the emergence of new alliances reminiscent of the biblical Gog and Magog, particularly evident in the alignment of oil-rich nations within OPEC with burgeoning BRICS alliances spearheaded by China. These coalitions pose a formidable challenge to the hegemony of the American dollar in global trade, exacerbating inflationary pressures and casting a shadow of uncertainty over the stability of the U.S. banking system. As we navigate these turbulent waters, may we heed the lessons embedded within the annals of prophecy, discerning the signs of the times and preparing our hearts for the challenges that lie ahead. For in the midst of uncertainty, it is through steadfast faith and vigilant watchfulness that we find solace and hope for the future. If you like the topic of this video, please comment number five. If you don't, please comment number zero to let me know so I can make a better video for you. Astoundingly, all these unfolding events align eerily with biblical prophecies concerning the fate of Israel in the tumultuous era preceding the end times. Fast forwarding to April 8, 2024, exactly seven years after the pivotal solar eclipse of August 2017, another celestial phenomenon is set to grace the skies, a solar eclipse of profound significance. Unlike its predecessor, this eclipse will cast its shadow predominantly over the eastern half of the United States, tracing a notable X-shaped path across the nation. But there's more to this cosmic spectacle than meets the eye. Coinciding with the alignment of the constellation Leo, symbolizing Judah and Jerusalem, this eclipse assumes a symbolic resonance reminiscent of biblical imagery. Leo, associated with the majestic Lion of Judah, a representation of Jesus Christ, 
serves as a potent symbol of divine sovereignty and redemption. So, what do these celestial portents signify within the tapestry of biblical prophecy? The number seven, frequently denoting completion and fulfillment, alludes to the culmination of Israel's 70 weeks of judgment, a sequence delineated by cycles of seven years. Rather than serving as a harbinger of future events, this eclipse serves as a mirror reflecting past occurrences intertwined with future destinies. The X-shaped path traced by the eclipse holds profound significance, resembling the Hebrew letter Tav, an emblem denoting a mark or seal. This letter, utilized sparingly in scripture, is evocative of the seal of protection bestowed upon those who mourned for the sins of the first Jewish temple, as recounted in Ezekiel chapter 9. Moreover, it harkens back to the marking of doorposts during the inaugural Passover in Exodus, a precursor to the mark of the beast and the seal of protection over the 144,000 witnesses during the impending tribulation period. Thus, the Tav mark etched across the United States signifies a dual aspect of divine providence, protection and judgment, particularly in the context of Israel's territorial integrity. As the prophetic clock ticks inexorably forward, these celestial omens serve as poignant reminders of the intertwined destinies of nations and the unfolding drama of human history. If you found this discourse enlightening, I humbly urge you to subscribe to our channel express your support with a thumbs up, and share this message far and wide with your loved ones. Your active engagement is pivotal in amplifying our reach and ensuring the continuation of content that resonates with you. Don't miss out on our future videos. Subscribe now, show your support, and spread the word. Thank you for your viewership and unwavering support. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.